Hey guys and welcome in the second game between uh, two very good players, Trivium and Chaos. Now on meeting of minds, match up of Space Marines against Eldars. Three scouts, barracks and generator. I guess uh, that's, that was standard in uh, Dark Crusade. Goes to capture the outer point, basically a good idea. Uh, if the Elder makes rangers with infiltration, uh, this point uh, run the risk of not being captured at all, because scouts can be killed uh, really fast by the rangers. So that's why uh, more scouts are required, at least three squads. Also, Space Marines being guided instead of Force Commander, I don't know why. And uh, the Servitor already goes to build this point. Oh yeah, he builds the Space Marines to capture another point, not bad. And now he goes at Harris with two scouts. Let's see what Chaos did there. Two generators and four guardians. Some non-standard build. At least it worked in, uh, in the first Dawn of War. Not sure about Dark Crusade, but. Guardians are not bad, but they can fight with scouts, they can fight with space marines, especially when they get their abilities of uh, mysticism and grenades. So uh, Tri Trivium tried to harass the Eldar, he decapped one point, on this side no damage was done. But uh, Chaos also goes on Harris with his Guardians. He will try to kill these scouts, but uh, Tactical Marines will will not uh, let them do that. Already a post uh, being upgraded. And these scouts will try to decap again. But they run the risk of being killed. Well, they run away from here. One, one uh, squad of scouts dies. That's already bad. A point was decapped twice, but um, scouts are very expensive. So... Maybe it paid up, but the scouts were reinforced, so I don't even know. Loses two scout squads, that's bad. While Space Marines just uh, get better economy. 80 to 10 already. Against 80 to 20. Yeah, Eldar also has good economy because of these two generators he could upgrade more uh, listening shrines so the economy is is good now at least acceptable for this time in the game more uh, listening posts being upgraded by the space marines uh, basically a good idea against guardians they are very good at dealing damage and getting better economy playing a bit defensive there is no point in getting and trying to fight these guardians right now. It won't be worth it. It's just better to stay and defend. At the point it's not hard on meeting of minds to do that. A force commander should be added. I don't know why it's not out yet. More generators and space marine will go tier 2 for sure. That's right. Also, tier 2 in Dark Crusade were uh, cheaper for most of the races. We 
can see it's only 2 250 to 105 scouts awaiting orders nice harris by the guardians scouts here the scouts will not survive here if they will uh, keep capping and it's the only uh, capper that uh, Trivium got right now but he he succeeded at capturing this location at least uh, not died for uh, nothing tier 2 already 65% mysticism were, was uh, researched by Eldar a very good uh, research especially when many guardians are made chaos still has all of the squads alive but fighting with the space marines here uh, they will not win so they should just run away because uh, the warlock died if the warlock would be alive if they could still maybe win this fight we are here to fulfill our and will they run away yeah almost was well, a close nice place to do it i think it uh, if upgraded it can uh, hit even the big uh, thermo generator Assault, Space Marines, Chaplain. Not very sure why uh, Trivion made Assault. They can get stunned. I, I don't know how this ability is called. Uh, this stun ability of the Guardians. But they can stun the Assault Space Marines and uh, they run the risk of not even being able to run away from the fight. There are four Guardian squads, they can use uh, four times, one after the other, the stun ability and assaults can get killed. Missile launchers being added to tactical marines. He expects the vehicles from the Eldar. Upgrades on the way. Everything is is fine for a Space Marine right now. He's got uh, the stronger army. A very good economy. 154 to 50. Wow, equal economy for both of the players. That's surprising. Close game so far, but Space Marines uh, got uh, just a more stronger army at the moment. Guardians uh, don't have too much health points for fighting uh, tactical Marines with upgrades and uh, chaplain regeneration. And uh, neither can they fight these assault Space Marine squads because they just die up. The Guardians. These fire dragons will probably survive and will try to harass Space Marine base. And warp spiders being res researched, the stone of warp spiders. Thermo generator should be at least deleted if it's not finished. I don't know what uh, Eldar is waiting for. Yeah, he now teleports and will build this. Falcon is out, but it's so late. Very late, Falcon. It came later than uh, Space Marine's anti-vehicle weapons. Two squads of Fire Dragons just running away from uh, Assault Space Marines. They can't do anything. Yaldar just needs a lot of firepower now. But he decides to go tier 3, no idea why. He just doesn't have uh, 
units that can deal damage, these guardians are not enough. They clearly aren't enough for killing the guardians and this uh, tactical marine squad. Yeah, but they damage very well the assault space marines, but uh, the reinforce will uh, not let them die. Warp spiders getting out also very late. Space Marines economy is very good right now, much better than the Elder ones. A dreadnought was made and will destroy this generator, a good idea. It's always uh, good to destroy big uh, thermo generators, it gives huge advantage in the economy for one of the players, but not in this game because both of the players have them. Assault Space Marine is doing very well by uh, running for these uh, fire dragons. So Eldar just doesn't have the anti-vehicle to kill uh, the Dreadnought. He also doesn't have enough uh, firepower to kill all the Space Marine's army. And Space Marine is now tier 3. These warp spiders, yeah, even even they kill very late. The army, they managed to kill four or five models of a like, tactical marine squad, but it's just too late. Space Marine tier three, he will make terminators and tier four on the way. Dreadnought and Assaults keep harassing his economy. And right now it looks pretty hopeless for the Eldar. He tried at least something original, not a very often used build of uh, Guardians instead of Rangers and Dark Reapers. So. Uh, he could still win this if he made more units in tier, in tier 2, making them much faster instead of going tier 3 for no reason. He's got tier 3, but he's making uh, tier 2 upgrades right now, so really no idea why he did that, especially so late. This assault space marine still alive. Even three warp spider squads cannot kill them. Terminators, dreadnoughts, and uh, land rider is on the way. Nice smite here. Chaos did not control that squad at all. So, 184 to 90 economy for Trivium and 110 to 44 Chaos. Wraith Lords also getting out very late. They should have been done about 7 minutes ago and uh, upgraded uh, the, this bright lens anti-vehicle thing so he could kill the dreadnought in time three warp spiders just uh, don't, don't have enough time to kill all this space marines army I mean he can kill them but these assault space marines will just jump and run away from the warp spiders or uh, tie them up. So uh, it's
it seems that uh, Chaos is a bit surprised by the look of this Land Rider. He didn't expect, probably. But on meeting of minds, this is basically some standard time for uh, getting out the tier 4 units. On this map economy can be very high, a lot of army can be made and faster uh, technology research. Right now, Eldar has no chance. He's also going tier 4, but does he even have the tier 3 upgrades? I don't know. And uh, he also will have no army at all while being in his tier 4. Relic gets decapped, he will not even be able to order the avatar. But it's over anyway. Finally, Force Commander gets out, so he will be able to use the orbital. But on what it will be used, I have no idea. He got time to order the avatar, but it will not come out anyway. And it's good game, well played. Well played by the Space Marines. Uh, not the best play from the Eldar. But uh, at least he tried something. That's it. Space Marines have a good chance in this matchup on the Meeting of Minds, so it's not a very surprising victory. Especially when the Eldar doesn't make Dark Reapers or Rangers. So this uh, resulted in a Space Marine domination for this game. I hope you liked the game, if so uh, you can leave some commentary below the video and uh, a few likes and a few more games between uh, these two players are coming out, out, hope to see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching. Fire cast, sir, fire.